What up? Good morning. How is it going? You lovely, lovely people. Today is Tuesday, the 11th of August. Um, and yeah, I slept really well last night. Um, I'm really, I'm really tired. But I did actually end up staying um, quite late talking to Steph from the road trip. Um, it was great to catch up with her. Um, see a familiar face and stuff like that so yeah obviously I slept good um, but yeah because I stayed up late I didn't really get that much sleep <laughs> so you're gonna run downstairs get some breakfast very quickly come back up the internet here is super fast like the fastest I've, I've had on this trip since Moscow um, I don't the distance speed but in Moscow my videos uploaded in about five minutes and here they upload in about 15 minutes so it's absolutely amazing like, compared to what the rest of the trip has been it's been if I went on there I've it's like oh, that, that, that's actually really good so yeah it's awesome so I managed to upload like three last night um, and then because I've been able to upload one since for about three three or four days so yeah so yeah I'm gonna run down get some breakfast, come back up, get those videos scheduled to go up and then head down and get the boat because I'm pretty sure it's a 10. I need to check that actually. Okay so may have run into a slight hitch. Um, the boat might not be running today. Apparently I speak there's a German girl here. Uh, I think she's German anyway. Let's assume that. Um, she sounds German but yeah she said she came here yesterday and the boat wasn't running yesterday and now Everything's closed in the port, like all of the ticket booths and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, so, we'll have to wait and see. Um, the boat's here and stuff like that, but apparently there's no one around at all. So, I don't really want to wait like, another day. And then it might not run tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, especially like the hassle I took coming here last night. Just, a little bit annoying, so yeah, I want to go there, um, but it's just wait around for a little bit, see if someone turns up to sell some tickets. If not, then I'll maybe wait around in town until tomorrow. Okay, so it's just been confirmed that there's no boat running today. Um, and there might be a boat running tomorrow, but they won't say until the morning. Um, there was a couple of security guards here and they said that there's no boat running until at least next week. So, I'm not sure what to do. If I can find a cheap homestay, then I'll, I'll probably stay here um, just for one night and see if the boat goes tomorrow. Um, if I can't, if I can't find something cheap, then I'll attempt to just go, just head on. Um, because there's also the danger of getting there and then having the same problem coming back. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, I might be stuck on the island, which isn't a bad place to be. But it's just, I have some more stuff that I want to see. And although it would be really nice to go to the island, um, because it's pretty much a pristine paradise. It's just weighing up the options as to whether it's worth it. Um, but obviously waiting here another day and then, yeah, so obviously it was a hassle to get here, but, and it would be nice to go. But it's just whether it's worth it. We'll have to see. Okay, so I'm walking through this like beachfront area and it's really strange because it kind of looks like it's been abandoned and then people have moved back into it. It looks like really derelict and really like unused. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to find a homestay. I walked down an alleyway and I literally couldn't find it. So, um, there's a hotel there, I don't really want to stay in a hotel. So, work a bit further, hopefully there's one a little bit further down, we'll see.
so I've decided that I'm just going to skip it. Um, I've been to a few homestays and stuff, and like, it's either complete dives, like absolutely complete dives for a hundred thousand, um, or like some of the places only have the most expensive rooms left, and yeah, and then like there's the hotels in town which are like three fifty. So I'm not really keen to pay that to stay another night. Um, so I'm going to skip it. Um, the only problem is I don't know how to get back to Jogja to continue um, my journey. It would have been great to go, but and I was speaking to another. Um, I think they were, I think they were German, possibly um, a German couple, and they were saying they booked accommodation on Karimanjaro and even. Uh, the, the people that own it, they said that it's probably not going to run for the next week, so I'm kind of, oh, I am going to skip it, it's made my mind up, but yeah, I've just got to find my way back and out of this place now, because I, I don't really know, there's not really much information online about transport links and stuff like that, so yeah, I'll have to wait and see and just see, I'm sure we'll get back somehow, but looks like in Georgia I've got to get a train to somewhere, and then going down to it's another lot like, of beach area so it'd be cool but it's just gonna be probably a full day of traveling literally just full day okay so I haven't got one of these before I've seen them everywhere like, it's just a, like, a kind of like a rickshaw sort of thing um, and there's my driver um, so yeah like I said bus station hopefully we're going to somewhere that would take me out of this place um, yeah I don't really know this all worked out so far. I keep saying it, but I keep saying I don't know, and I keep saying it all worked out, so it's been fine. I think uh, you can kind of get past the language barrier. Okay, so that trip from my brain's fried down to Samarang, where I've got to get the bus to Dogja, um, was painful. That was really, really painful. It was just hot and sweaty and crammed, and it took so long. It took so so long. Uh, well, we didn't really. Took, I think it took like about three hours, but it was it felt a lot longer. Um, now on the bus, uh, going down to Jogja, uh, back to Jogja, and hopefully I can get there by seven. It's half one now, and I think this bus leaves about two. So I'm hoping I'll be there before seven, um, so that I can get the train tonight. Um, but I think the ticket office closes at five. Um, well, it did in Malang anyway. I'm pretty sure it closed at five. So I'm hoping that I can uh, go there and get a ticket, and then go there today because tomorrow, like the first train in the morning is at eleven in the morning. So I waste like half the day and I'm just sitting around waiting for the train. So yeah, um, so I'm literally just waiting for the bus to go, and then yeah, go down to Jogja and then um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a train tonight. Okay, so we've made it back into Georgia Carla now. Um, it's too late to get a train. Too late. That, that bus journey was very long. Another very long bus journey. Hot and sweaty again. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to go back to the hostel where I stayed up before. Um, and yeah, check in there for a night. Um, and then go to the train station in the morning, get the train first thing tomorrow morning. very hungry again. Probably just gonna grab a Ojek back to the hostel as well, so just get like a quick motorbike um, or a taxi, one of the two. So I went to the hostel and they were fully booked. It's like the biggest hostel in town and they were full. Apparently they've got a big group book in. So I went to the counter and I was like, no. <laughs> it's after today. There's one thing after and I've just been snowballing today. Um, but you have bad days every now and then um, when traveling where everything just goes wrong, absolutely everything. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go to the street that we ate on the last couple of nights we were here. It's kind of like touristy street, there's lots of hotels and stuff like that. I'm literally just gonna find an okay-ish priced one, book into there, have a shower, um, and then head out on that street to grab something to eat, because it's easy. And I'm gonna end up paying a lot more, but, at least I'll have comfort, I'll be able to relax, 
Um, you might actually have half the internet to use as well. So, yeah. I managed to find um, just a homestay um, in pretty much the busiest bit of town. Um, I was going like hotel to hotel to hotel, like 350, 400, and I was like, oh, I don't really want to pay that much. And then I literally popped in here, and the gentleman's so nice, such a nice gentleman. Um, and I think his sister, he said, lives in Fremantle, in down by Perth, which is amazing because I love Fremantle. Um, and for him to know Fremantle, yeah, it's great. Um, and yeah, like 150. It's got a shower, aircon, got a TV, I'm not going to use the TV. Electricity, there's Wi Fi here. I haven't actually tested it out yet, but it's Wi Fi. So yeah, I'm going to have a shower. It's much needed, much, much needed. Um, because, like I said, I've just been sweating profusely all day, just travelling in local vehicles and just being crammed in like a sardine. I went out and wandered about the streets for a little bit because all of the restaurants were packed, absolutely round. Last time we come down here, like, we'd walk in any restaurant and it'd be fine. But every single one was full for some reason. I have no, I have no idea why, but you know, I went in and sat in a restaurant and then ordered my food and about an hour later it turned up. So I was just sitting there, it's like, oh, come on. Um, I just had a pounding headache and I've still got it um, so I was going to consider doing an edit but I'm just going to try and get some sleep um, yeah try and sleep for it um, I may take some painkillers just so I can get to sleep a bit easier um, I've got a big bottle of water as well to quench myself um, try and bring myself back up to um, hydrated levels um, but yeah, so today's been, um, yeah, this is one of those days where everything has gone wrong, but it's okay, you know, you have days like that, Something sometimes it just happens, I'm not going to beat myself up about it, because you know, there's absolutely nothing I can do, so, I mean, I went there, boat was cancelled, and then, yeah, it's like every single bus on the way back should, seems to take twice as long as it's supposed to. And it was really hot. And then the hostel was fully booked, but at the end of the day, that's travelling for you. You know, you can either become a traveller and go out and do this stuff and experience things, or you go on holiday stuff where you go and stay in a nice little resort and everything's nice and comfortable. Um, but yeah, that's not the type of travelling I like to do. Like, I don't like to do stuff comfortably, I like to do stuff. Why let the locals maybe do it and try and stretch my money as far as I can. Um, so yeah, that's the way I like to travel. Um, it is frustrating at times, it is really frustrating, but you just got to sit through it, like I say, there's nothing you can do, absolutely nothing. So unless you want to pay, um, like with Asia, it's very much, you either travel expensive or you travel slow. Like, there's no in the middle. Like, you're either going to go really slow or... Um, like you're gonna pay a lot of money for like renting cars and taxis and stuff like that so yeah anyway so i'm gonna hit the hay now guys um so tomorrow i am heading to what's it called pang an duran um on a recommendation of um caleb and lottie they went there um it's a couple of the guys that i went out for dinner with the other night um yeah, it sounds pretty cool, it's just a beach area and there's um, a lot of people go there for surfing so I'm going to have some surfing lessons probably. Um, I've never tried it before so it would be really good to try it um, and try and nail it. And yeah, there's some nice stuff around the area as well which is going to be good. Um, so yeah, remember guys, always be kind of strangers. You never know when you'll be one yourself. Catch you later guys. One thing I've noticed.